Hi guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to another What's for Dinner on WW Personal Plan. I'm gonna be showing you what we had for dinner this week. And as always, I will have links to any of the recipes that I've previously done videos on down below in this description box. And in those recipe videos, you will find the full list of instructions, ingredients, and also links to my recipe builder where you can find the points for you specifically. And if I haven't done a previous video on one of these, I will have the instructions and ingredients listed down in the description box of this video. But either way, all information is going to be accessible in the description box of this video. But let's jump in here and see what we had for dinner this week. First up, our lasagna rolls. These rolls are a fun way to do lasagna. And actually, they're, in my opinion, an easier way to do lasagna. So I like to make these, especially for my son, because he really enjoys the roll shape. He thinks they're a lot of fun and therefore he eats them. So these start with boiling up some lasagna noodles, which I've got over there. Then in a large pan, you're gonna heat some oil, add in your lean ground turkey. And then I'm adding some mushroom and chopped red onion to this. You could do whatever veggies you want. I'm also adding a little fresh ground pepper in there. Then I'm gonna just let all this cook in here until those veggies are softened and that turkey is browned like here. Next up, I'm gonna add in some marinara sauce. That is my marinara sauce that I make. I will go ahead and link the uh, recipe up above and down below. It's a WW marinara sauce recipe. It's really good and it's pretty low in points. I add that in as well as a little bit of water. Stir that all in and then I turn the heat down and let this sauce simmer for about 10 minutes or so while I make the filling for these. Here I've got my lasagna noodles drained and laid out on some parchment paper. And then in this bowl, I've got an egg that I'm beating and then I'm adding a little bit of parsley ricotta to that, as well as some Parmesan cheese and a little bit of nutmeg. Then I'm gonna add in some spinach that I've defrosted and drained real well. I'm gonna mix that all together until it looks like this. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm going to evenly spread it down the middle of my lasagna noodles. And I'm gonna leave a little space at the end so that when I roll these up, it doesn't squish out the ends. Next, I'm gonna take a nine by nine inch casserole dish and I'm going to put a layer of that meat sauce on the bottom of it. Then I'm gonna take my rolls and I'm gonna just kind of nestle them in there followed by the remaining sauce. Then I'm gonna cover it with foil and bake it at 375 for about 30 minutes. Next, you're gonna add some part skin mozzarella to the top of this and bake for another 10 minutes or so until that cheese is nice and melted like this. And here is dinner tonight. That is a serving, which is one lasagna roll. And for me, those are seven points. Along with that, I'm also having a salad, which is gonna gain me a veggie point for the day. Then on the salad, I'm gonna have some of this Bolt House Farms cucumber ranch. I'm gonna use a serving of that for a point, which makes my dinner total for tonight seven points. This next one is for crab stir fry. This was actually a viewer send in recipe. So thanks to Joyce again for sending us this recipe. It's really good and really easy, and we've made it several times since filming that video. This starts with a large pot that you're gonna add your veggies of choice in. I'm using mushrooms and onions, as I do quite a bit. So I'm gonna just add those in there and get those cooking. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh ground pepper and a little bit of garlic, and just cook that in there as well. Next up, you're gonna add in a bag of chicken fried rice. I'm using this P.F. Chang's because I still have not been able to find the Innovation brand that Joyce uses in her recipe. So I'm gonna just add this in and stir it all in there and let that cook in there until those veggies have softened the rest of the way and that rice is nice and warmed up. I'm also gonna put a lid on it while that heats up. Next, I'm gonna add in some soy sauce and then some imitation crab that I've chopped up. I'm gonna stir everything together real well and then I'm gonna put the lid back on this and just let it continue to cook for another 
couple minutes or so until that crab has heated all the way through. Next up, I'm gonna add in a couple bags of mixed veggies that I've just gone ahead and steamed in the microwave. So I'm gonna put those in, I'm gonna stir them in real well, and then that is all there is to this, it is done. And here is dinner tonight. I'm having a serving of that crab stir fry, which is just about two cups. It's a really good size serving. And it is for me, five points, plus you earn a veggie point for the veggies that are in it. I'm also having a little salad, which is probably another two cups of veggies, so another veggie point earned. And on that salad, I'm having some of the Bolt House Farms Cucumber Ranch. This is a serving size of two tablespoons, for one point. So my dinner tonight's total points is six points. And finally, we had pigs in a blanket. I absolutely love these. They remind me of my childhood and they taste like you're eating a whole lot more points than you actually are. I do these in my air fryer now, but I used to do them in the oven, but you can do either way. These start off with the two ingredient pizza dough that I love. It's just simply three quarter cup plain Greek yogurt with one cup self-rising flour. You mix all that together, knead it all up, and then you have your dough. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna cut it into eight equal parts, and then each one of those parts, I'm gonna roll out into kind of a triangular shape. Then I'm gonna add a slice of Velveeta, followed by one of these ballpark smoked turkey hot dogs. These are really good. I'm gonna roll that up, then once I have them all rolled up, I'm gonna baste some of this egg that I've beaten up on the tops of them. And that just adds a nice brown look to them. I'm also gonna add a little everything but bagel seasoning. I have my air fryer preheating while I'm doing all this. And I'm gonna add a silicone mat in there. I will link that down below in the description box if you're interested in those, they work pretty well. So I'm gonna add these in here four at a time and I'm gonna bake them at 400. Now this time I ended up cooking them too long. I think I did six minutes. You only need to do about four or maybe five in my air fryer at 400. And here they are. I think I did six minutes, which was definitely too much. Like I said, four or five probably would have been good enough. Sometimes I get the times mixed up on the different things I do in here and that's what happened here. Here is dinner. So I had one of those, which is four points. And again, I don't think that is that bad for how good these taste. It tastes like you're eating something really naughty and you're really not at four points. So four points for that. And then I also had the remaining salad, which at this point was looking kind of pathetic, <laughs> but I wanted to eat it up. So I had that, which was probably a couple cups, which again, gave me a veggie point for the day. And then I used more of that Bolt House Farms Cucumber Ranch for an additional point for a serving. So my dinner for tonight was five points. And that was everything we ate this week on WW. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope maybe it gave you some ideas. As I said in the beginning, I will have links to all of the previous videos I've done on these showing the full ingredients, instructions, and links to my recipe builder where you can find your own points. Thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.